Hello and welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the thumbnail, the reason why you clicked on this video is we are doing another ALP attempt and uh, we're going to get into that very shortly but this video is going to have multiple parts. The first part we're going to talk about my progression on the ALP specifically, uh, a little bit of analysis on this attempt. Obviously this is in the team time trial so it's a little bit different but my pacing strategy was generally the same but the second part of the video we're going to set some goals for 2023 which is pretty cool so hopefully you guys can stick around subscribe and follow me as I sort of try and crush these goals. Uh, the th fourth part of the video sorry I skipped a part then the third part of the video is going to be looking at the descent where we drop some serious watts and hopefully we can try and crack some speed uh, some speed records uh, but yeah let's get into it so heading into this event I had a plan that I literally put in the group chat uh, that I wanted to average 270 watts so I kind of uh, dug myself a bit of a hole there would have been a bit embarrassing if I didn't manage it but as you can see on the screen uh, I'll show you the overall data for the climb uh, I averaged 270 watts on the dot I don't know how I managed that but yeah the start of this uh, attempt was way faster than than I should have. The pacing was, I don't know how you'd call it, I was too quick at the start, I slumped in the middle and then went quick again at the end. So I don't really know how you would, maybe you'd let me know down in the comment section if there's a word for that. But basically I was just trying to hold on to my teammates wheels uh, but then eventually they left me for dust. Uh, I do catch up with them later, you know, the tortoise does beat the hare as they say. Um, but yeah, so I was trying to, as you can see, there's a lot of red on the bottom there. And for the first couple of corners, I was averaging way above the 270 watt mark, um, which obviously builds up more fatigue in the legs as I'm no longer in threshold. But yeah, if you look at the data, uh, basically, I, I produced more power over the whole climb, which is a given. Uh, I'm also, I think, one kilo lighter than the last time. I beat my PB, which was 57 minutes and 47 seconds. Uh, so yeah, I mean, managed to knock off three minutes and two seconds. So that is pretty impressive. And I, I put it on the screen how long that took, but it can only have been a month or two, which I'm yeah, I'm really proud of the progress that I've made. I'm in a really good spot with my cycling at the minute. Um, I'm not focusing on my weight at all. It's very healthy. I'm just plowing on, enjoying myself. Uh, trying to improve so yeah that's all good so now I'm going to talk about some of the goals that I've set myself for 2023 obviously this I was recording the, I did this race on the 29th so it's pretty much the new year um, but obviously one big goal straight off the bat is I want to beat this time next year in the exact same race I want to go sub 50 if I can get if I can knock five minutes off of my time that would be incredible well, four minutes off my time. So that's goal number one, four, 50 minute out next year. Um, obviously, I can change these if they're too easy, but these are quite loose at the minute. But yeah, also second goal, also to do with climbing hills on a bike. I want to do the Porlock Hill Climb. I had, I'm not going to set myself a target uh, time-wise yet. I just want to go there and I want to give it my best and sort of set the bar for myself I don't because I feel like if I start giving myself expectations then I'll give myself excuses not to do it so just want to show up on the day and give it a good bash that is goal number two and obviously I'll take you along for the ride on that one now goal number three uh, is also cycling related uh, I just want to get a lot as many miles in as I can let me know down below what what you think I can achieve in 2023 miles wise or kilometers wise uh, I want to set myself a distance goal I think I'm averaging about 150 to 200k uh, a week at the minute so if we extrapolate that times by 52 that's going to be my goal I'm going to put it on the screen now so that's three goals done and my fourth and final goal, I'm going to keep this really simple. I want to be in the front group of B and winning B races. I don't think I'm going to get into the A's in next year. I mean, if I can, that would be awesome. Um, but I just want to be realistic that, you know, the gap between where I am now and four watts per kilo, you know, it's a long way away. Um, but yeah, I want to be 
fighting in the B category for some decent results. That's my aim. Uh, obviously, you guys are going to be watching the journey. So if you want to see these goals get smashed and you want to be a part of it, then uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button because it's definitely, this is going to be a place to be. We're going to, everyone that's watching this channel is going to definitely smash 2023. I can feel it. It's going to be a good year. Uh, I'm going to give cycling my all. Obviously, your boy ain't going pro or nothing, but I'm just saying I'm going to have so much more time to dedicate to my hobby after I finish uni. So it's going to be great. I've skipped forward now to the point where we caught up with some teammates up the road. Uh, I wasn't really sure if the drafting effect would be working on the hills. Uh, you know, I wasn't really going to change my strategy anyway. I was just trying to hold as much power as I could. Uh, I can't lie, I'm pretty toasted at this point. My heart rate's been above 170 for, you know, 45 minutes or something now. Um, and yeah, so Mr. Harren, bloody counter-attacking teammates he was behind me from pretty much the whole way up the alp and then uh, we catch up with our teammates and he just blasts ahead again and i was like this guy i mean hats off i mean he obviously paced it really well because he like sort of what's that called a positive split he started off at the back and then you know was pulling on the front so yeah hats off to mr harren that is a a great ride but yeah the the site is so Sorry, the finish is so close now. And at this point, I don't know if anyone else has this, but your legs just get recharged. The Alp just gives you back your energy uh, that you've spent. And the legs just feel like you can you can feel them turning and you're seeing the watts and you're like, it doesn't feel like my legs are producing these watts. And uh, yeah, it's a nice feeling, especially when you get round to that last corner and you see those two geezers on the hill fighting over the wheel. Uh, but yeah. It was uh, definitely super nice to finish the ride with teammates. I cannot tell you how nice everyone has been in the backpedal community. Um, yeah, so massive thank you to them. They made the end of this year really good for me, cycling-wise. Kept me on target, kept me on track. Uh, this is the longest I've spent uh, cycling consistently in my whole life. Uh, I've been cycling for about a year and a half, I think, uh, with you know a six month break in the middle um consistency was always my enemy but since joining backpedal i can honestly say i have not had any time off you know cycling has definitely been my number one hobby so yeah at this point i think everyone gets this on the final corner i just try and ramp it up i don't for some reason it's not telling me my time on the screen so i don't know how close i am to a pb so i basically just try and keep it above four watts per kilo until the finish which is mental to think that I still have this amount of energy left in the tank but I seem to always manage it um, on these Alp attempts maybe I'm not going hard enough let me know down below uh, but yeah sorry about the jittery camera as well my internet's not great uh, but yeah I can see Mr. Harren behind me and uh, the ego in me does not want to let him win so even though this isn't a race it's obviously a team time trial I can't help myself and uh, yeah as I come up to the finish line, it has become apparent that the race isn't over. Uh, I've got to change into a TT bike and fly down this hill as quickly as possible. So I don't really get to enjoy the fact that I've just got a PB uh, because I need to rest up and uh, get my legs back under myself. Uh, so yeah, we all put the TT bikes on and we are just bombing it down here. I mean, this is my absolute nightmare. I have zero bike handling skills and uh, the thought of going down this, uh, the Alp, on a normal bike let alone a tt bike in a tt position it was crazy so yeah we we're basically just trying to fly down as quickly as possible i didn't really know what the tactic was so I, at the start i was basically just like putting in these big sprint efforts i managed to hit 1100 watts for briefly which was pretty nice uh but yeah as you can see i got pretty tired pretty quick doing that so i thought i'll just soft pedal uh, and then try and pick up the pace when i can i mean i didn't want to just get dragged to the finish I wanted to help the team somewhat. But yeah, this end to a TTT was actually super fun. I mean, how often do you get to fly 86 kilometers down the road? Uh, it's pretty wild. And then at the end, as all good team time trials do, uh, it becomes a race. And I don't know how, but you'll see. Somehow, Zwift thought I crossed the line first. Now, I, I reckon it was just a glitch. I mean, we were going 100 kilometers an hour at the end. Uh, so... I don't think Zwift had a clue where we were really. 
but yeah, I didn't really pay attention to where the finish was. I would just kept trying to sprint. And uh, yeah, I really wanted to hit the 100 kilometers an hour so I could get the badge. And you'll see in a second at the end of the race, I hit 100 kilometers an hour, but the badge didn't come up on my screen. So let me know if that's ever happened to you before where you've hit the 100 kilometers an hour and not got the badge because I think I've been shafted. So here we go then, round the final corner. It's my last chance to get the 100 kilometer badge. I don't, clearly don't want it that much because I'm not getting out the saddle. As you can see in the top left, I hit 100 kilometers and I stopped pedaling. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the race. And as you can see on the screen when it loads, it takes a while. Uh, they put me in first place. I mean, I don't. it's a team game, but you've got to take your wins when you can. I mean, is that my first B race win? I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Uh, I'll stick around just so you can see the chart at the end. Uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. The support on the videos has been insane recently. Um, but yeah, I can't thank you enough. I'm just waiting for my silly self to put the timeline up so you can see it. Don't know if you're interested. I'm going to sign off the video now. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you made it this far. You're a saint. Uh, yeah, see ya.